Hey everybody, Joy here. Joy drinking plain old water. <laughs> no coffee at this hour. What hour is it? Oh my gosh, it's 4.30. <laughs> Woo, this day has gone by that fast. Hmm. <clears throat> I've been taking deep breaths through my nose and breathing out. Slow by my mouth. <gasps> Let's take my blood pressure. Let's take my blood pressure. Hold on. <laughs> I'm supposed to be taking my blood pressure every morning and every night, but I didn't take it this morning. Now this is sized for my husband right now, so it's gigantic. So I have to put it up on my arm, and you have to get this little rubber hose just in the right place, like that. So, I've just had my sale, I've just had my Joanne pattern sale therapy. So I think we should check my blood pressure. <laughs> Let's turn on the little machine. My husband always says, you have to be perfectly still. I am never perfectly still. <laughs> the day I'm perfectly still is the day they bury me. Okay, let's turn this on. I can't quite reach the chair very good. Let me back up. Let me like play like I'm relaxing. Ah, deep in. Now that's like smoking a cigarette. You know, I used to smoke a hundred years ago. I only smoked for like a year of my life. So I think I'm good on that front. All done. Let's see what my blood pressure is. Let's hope it's not very high or maybe in tears here. Oh, it's only 145 over 75. 145 over 75 and my pulse is 57. So I have to go write that down in a minute. I mean, compared to 180, that's good, right? So we woke up this morning to another gloomy, dreary, dark, rainy day. I mean, I just cannot get motivated on days like that. I do good to get out of my bed. If it wasn't for the coffee calling, I probably wouldn't get out of bed. <laughs> so I got up and I did a little wash, ate a little breakfast, folded some clothes, put in a load of wash, and then I got this idea that my husband and I should go on a date because we haven't had a date for a really long time because they've been building this garage barn of his you know they just put the garage doors up yesterday and the day before but they're not totally done yet so when they're totally done I'll show you one last picture of Jerry's new barn it looks really really nice so because of that and you know the people keep coming and all of their vehicles in the yard and you just don't like to be gone when there's all that going on at your house. So we haven't gone anywhere for, goodness, two weeks. Um, I think we went to the grocery store um, last weekend and to Goodwill. So that has been the excitement of our life. <laughs> so this morning, I knew that Hobby Lobby was having a sale on patterns. But then I heard from Viv that Joann's was having a sale on patterns too. So I just assumed at the time that Joann's was having McCall's because Hobby Lobby was having McCall's. So I thought, I don't want to drive down there by myself because it's so far and it's raining and it's gloomy. So I'm going to go ask Jerry if he'll take me on a date. <laughs> so I went into the office and I said, I have an idea. Do you want to hear it? He said, sure. I said, we haven't been on a date for a really long time. And I said, Joann's and Hobby Lobby's having patterns on sale, and this is the last day. It's the last day for Hobby Lobby. I don't know about Joann's. And I said, we haven't had breakfast yet. I said, why don't we get a shower and get cleaned up and drive to Sherman, and then we can eat breakfast at IHOP, and then we can go to Joann's, and right next to Joann's is an academy. And so I said, you can go to Academy and I can go to Joann's. <laughs> I should make him sit here when I get done and have him show you his haul from Academy. Oh my gosh, it makes mine look like a thimbleful. <laughs> so 
anyway, I wanted to tell you, we went to uh, the High Hop in Denison. Denison's the town you get to before you get to Sherman. And that's in Texas. We're really close to Texas where we live here. And so we went to the IHOP in Denison, and it was just cars everywhere. We could hardly find a parking place. Cars everywhere. But when we went inside, there was lots of tables available. So I don't know what was with all the cars. But we found out that I noticed something was different when I walked in. And I thought, boy, it looks different. I think they redecorated. I said, Jerry, I think they've completely redecorated. All the tables look new, and the curtains look new. It just... And the floor is so clean. I said, it, I don't know if they redecorated or what. Well, we got our breakfast, and there was no salt, and there was no pepper, and there was no sugar, and there was no cream. There was nothing on the table. All the tables in the whole restaurant were completely bare, just the tabletop. And so the waitress told us that they had taken every single thing off the tables and sanitized all the tables and sanitized all the chairs, and then they had put salt and pepper in little separate containers. So you just got this little bitty plastic container, you know, like ketchup comes in, you know, like you get ketchup in when you go to a, a hamburger place, only they were plastic and they had little lids. And so we got a little one with pepper and a little one with um, salt. And then she brought a couple packs of sugar to us and a couple little creams for our coffee but it was so clean and so neat and she was so friendly and i just thought that that was really really nice of that restaurant to do that you know to make sure that everything was um clean and safer so you know five thousand people aren't picking up the salt and the pepper and you know getting all their germs all over it you know they don't ever wash those salt and pepper shakers. I'm the one that washes them. If you go to a restaurant, salt and pepper shakers are clean. It's because I was there and I cleaned them. <laughs> okay. So we did that. Well, then we drove on down the next five miles to the next town where Joanne's is. Okay, so Jerry dropped me off at the door in front of Joanne's, and he drove down to the academy. So you want to see what I came back with for $1.99 each? Jerry said I was in the um, car and I was uh, playing with my patterns and I was writing on all of them. I wanted to know on the front of the pattern if they took wovens or if they took knits and so I wrote on the front of every single pattern I was doing that in the car. And he said, well, what are those, what do those patterns cost when they aren't on sale? I started giving him the prices, $20.95, $19.95 and I said, they supposedly have this fake sale all the time where they're 30% off. I said, well, 30% off of $21, what is that? It's still going to be 15 bucks. <laughs> so he couldn't believe it. He said, no wonder you like to go in there at $1.99. I said, I know, I know. I said, I bought all these patterns. I have 12 patterns here, $2 a piece. 12 times $2 is $24. So, for almost the price of one pattern, regular price, I got 12 patterns. Now, that's not really true because I got a couple new looks in here and I think they're $3.99. But still, 10 for $2. So, that's $20. That's less than the price of one pattern. And then the new looks are always $3.99. So, you want to see them? <laughs> I don't know why you want to see them. Let me scooch up closer to the camera so you can see them better. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> All right. I think Viv has this one, and she made it. Let me roll it up just a little bit. Okay, I think I saw this in Viv's stash, and she made a dress out of it, and I thought it was really cute. This is N6619. N6619. Very cute. Very fun to color block or put the stripes because there's a yoke on the top and it's got a panel on the bottom. So, oh yeah, I'll be using a stripe. And I did go through and write on all my patterns. Can you see where I wrote woven on that? Because I was looking for some fabrics for them. And I was like, well, does that take a woven or does that take a knit? Does that take a woven or does that take a knit? So I decided I would just mark them, and that way I can put the wovens in a stack and the knits in a stack, and then I can go in my fabric stash and find fabrics to make them with. They had the brand new McCall's books. They had early spring and spring. 
I don't know if the simplicity was new or not. Um, I didn't really see anything simplicity that, you know, got me too excited or that I didn't already have. <laughs> so this is McCall's 7562 and this is a really cute top. I like this very much. Seven five six two, and it's something else that you can color block. Why don't I get up by the camera? See the back? Yeah, Micheline had one upside down in her last video. <laughs> this one's a knit. I'm going to make the sleeveless one with the little gathers right here. All of these can be done with my SureFit designs. That way, I don't have to do the FBA. So I don't know if I will or if I won't. I've done the FBA so many times, I kind of can do it in my sleep. So this is M7967. I'll make the sleeveless long one. Just a knit dress to just wear. And that's the back. I love this one. Love it. This is a new look, and I think it is the cutest dress in the whole wide world. And it's a woven, and I like it exactly like it is on the model, except I will make the straps fatter because I have to wear a bra because I don't like my boobs down in my um, waistline. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have to wear a bra. So I will have to have a wider strap at the top, but I think this is the cutest dress ever. Another new look. I just love new looks like Viv does. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Who says isn't that cute? Judy. Judy Kessinger. She always says, isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Yeah. I might make that one first because I think it's so. Where will I ever wear a dress like that? Oh, that's a good question. Where will I ever wear a dress like that? Upstairs in my sewing room <laughs> while I'm quilting and sewing. <laughs> oh, in the summertime, they're so comfortable, aren't they? With the cute pair of sandals. I don't have a single cute pair of sandals. I need to buy some. Okay, here's another one. Let's hurry this up, Joy. Come on, let's move it, move it, move it. This is McCall 7408. It is a tunic, and it's out of a woven. And I thought that would be fun to put some embroidery on. Okay? You know, if you cannot see the pattern very good, or I don't hold it up long enough, go to Google, put in McCall's 8040. McCall's 8040. 50,000 pictures of it will come up. Choose one of them, you can blow it up, turn it around, look at the back, look at the sizes, look at all the information. This is one of these new ones where they're giving all these patterns a name. This is Emmy. Hashtag Emmy. Although it might be kind of cool if everybody that makes this goes to Instagram and puts a picture of what they made from it on Instagram at hashtag Emmy. It might be kind of cool to go see all those there. I guess that's the idea of it. <clears throat> Did I tell you this is 8040 and it's just a blouse? And I think it's cute. And I hope my uh, battery isn't dying. Yeah, you guys don't need to see the backs, do you? I like to see the backs. All right, this is McCall 7360. This is another blouse, and I've already bought this in the past. I don't know why I even bought it again. <laughs> it's easier than going to look it up. <laughs> M7360. I'm going to quit showing you the back because I still have fabric to show you guys. This is McCall's 8053. And it's just another dress like the other dress, like another dress, like another one. But I think it's cute, and it's a woven. And so I need, I have a whole bunch of wovens in my stash. And so I need to get one of my lighter weight wovens to make this. I think it's as cute as it can be. It's 8053, and easy to make. Easy to make. Love the cap sleeve. The only hard part about this is getting it to fit you. 
Since I already know how to do all of the fit things, I have to go through the paper once, make the paper fit me, then I can make it over and over, which of course I probably won't. I'll probably only make it once. And this is 7381, and it's another maxi, and I like the maxis. I like to wear these maxis around the house. I think they're so comfortable. And then, of course, I could go somewhere if we ever went anywhere. I mean, like if we went on a real date, like to a movie or something, if we could ever find a movie that I would even watch. I will not watch violence. I will not watch a bunch of naked people running around cursing. I won't watch it. I don't want it in my head. I don't want it in my heart. I don't want it in my soul or my spirit. So, very, very few times. I think I've seen a commercial lately about a Christian movie that's coming out. Something about miracles or something. So maybe Jerry and I will go see that one. This is McCall 7381. Did I already show it to you? Very cute. I'll make the maxi. And it is a woven and it's lined. So I bought a little bit of lining. This is M8065. It's a woven. It's another maxi. Sleeveless maxi. Easy to make. I'm wanting to use up a lot of the fabric in my stash, and this is a good way to do it. Especially if you color block, because then you can use up two pieces. Here's another one, just a new... I've bought this one before, too. <laughs> Why do you buy them twice, Joy? Because I have two houses, and I don't know which house it might be at. So this is 7959 McCall's, and it's just a really cute top. I guess you'd call that a tunic also. But cute. I like the way the gathers are in the yoke up at the top. When I look at this from here, it doesn't look like you can see the back very good. This one I think is fun because of the way the, the yoke is at the top. It has a yoke at the top that follows over into the sleeves, at the top of the sleeves. And I think that would be so fun. And the sleeves are the um, kimono kind. Yeah, kimono kind. And then the yoke at the top follows into the sleeves. And I just think it's as cute as it can be. Uh huh? 803 on my calls. Check it out online if you want to see it closer. You know what I hate? Well, I don't hate it. You know what I don't understand? <laughs> Why can't you buy patterns online? Why can't you go to joanne.com or hobbylobby.com and buy patterns for $1.99 online? I don't understand why they don't include the patterns. Anyway, they don't. So this is 8058. This is another knit. It's a V-neck. I don't understand the pictures behind her on the um, mannequins. In Behind her, I guess she's supposed to be standing in front of a showroom window or something because there's no shorts in this and there's no jeans in this. But they're in the window behind her. I don't know. Anyway, that's a knit, sleeveless, maxi, maybe not, maybe short. So that's all the patterns. I have 12 of them. So you want to see my fabric? Fabric is so expensive now. Regular price, $16.99, $12.99, and then you get 40% off and it's still expensive. You know, I like to buy fabric at Fabric Mart that's four bucks a yard. <laughs> so for my long maxi dresses out of knit, I got this one. I have to wash it. You want to see it on? You want to see it on? I wanted to see it on too, but they don't have any mirrors. There's no mirrors at Joann's. Boy, if they put mirrors up, I'd probably buy way more. And did you know that the Pantone color of the year, usually I hate the Pantone color of the year. Usually it's peach or coral or gold or, or um, what's that color that looks like squash? Ah, I look terrible in all of those. But this year it's blue, and I look good in blue. I can wear blue. So this is one of the knits I bought for a maxi dress. And... Of course, black, but I, I didn't want to like black for spring, but I thought this was cute. I picked up the black that had the white polka dots. I bought it before there, and I really like it, but the entire bolt was flawed. So this is another one. Let me back off. Let me see. How do you back off? Are we backed off? Oh, yeah, we're backed off. See? So here's another maxi dress. Yeah. And if you kind of put your butt out backwards, it kind of brings your belly in. <laughs> so I really like that one. 
they're just um, polyester and no they're spandex and rayon I think they're rayon and spandex but nice huh yeah I like that one okay and then here's another one and I I didn't choose it because it's black I chose it because it's really nice fabric and it was 50% off so here's another black one I'm gonna have look at that aren't they fun and so soft and so comfortable I may cut out two of these at a time and sew them together they are so comfortable and so soft I could just wear them to bed at night and then just keep on wearing them the next day wear them in the shower <laughs> ah, and here's another one now this one's a little wild and I was wishing they had a mirror so I could hold it up this one may look like the fabrics dragging me down the street on this one it's like oh my goodness is there a girl in there somewhere but they didn't have a mirror and if you start dragging stuff in the bathroom they get suspicious you know okay and then they'll start calling out those numbers there's a 911 in aisle six yeah that looks like eggs it looks like fried eggs doesn't it I don't know about that god what if he ended up with one egg on each boob oh that'd be really bad oh my god look at that what if you ended up with one egg on each boob <laughs> oh my heavens that's just terrible <laughs> That is just terrible. What will we do? Well, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that'll be a real challenge there, won't it? Okay. <laughs> and so then I just got some lining, and I didn't know what color to get, so I just got, I thought, well, I'll just get skin color, and then that'll go with anything. And then I wanted one woven to make one of those woven dresses. So I got this. It's just navy blue with little white polka dots, see? Because blue is the Pantone color of the year. So I really like that. They're all going into the washing machine. I will put the color catcher sheets in with them. Absolutely. I think I can throw them all in together with two color catcher sheets and they'll be okay. Oh, and then you know what else happened. Ah. All right. Joann's is really good now. They've got their, um, their um, sanitizing wipes, you know, that you pull out. Only theirs are always, always, always empty. Well, they actually had a full bottle of them today. And so I pulled out the sanitary wipes, and I wiped my cart down, and then I pulled a few extra ones out, and I put them in my cart. And so then I went back to the cutting table because I knew that's where I was going to be. So I actually, well, I was the only one there. Nobody else was there, only me and I washed off the surface of the cutting table and I washed off the McCall's catalogs. I did, I really did. <laughs> so I'm sitting there in total bliss, looking up patterns and pulling them out of the drawer and I'm sitting there minding my own business and this lady comes and sits across from me and she's sitting not directly across from me but like if there was two more seats and one was across from me, she's sitting there. And so I'm looking and all of a sudden, <coughs> I thought, I cannot believe this woman has the nerve to sit across from me and cough. I couldn't believe it. So I got up and I moved. And she finally left and I went back and I sanitized all over there where she was sitting and the books that she coughed on. <laughs> Come on, people. Don't cough on anyone now. I mean, I'm always that way if people are coughing, but especially now. Okay, anything else? I think that's all I have to tell you. That's my haul for today. Oh, I suppose I should tell you my husband came home with two great big bags full. He bought, he's lost weight, he's lost like 17 pounds, so he bought a whole bunch of jeans with this 34 waist. Is that sickening? I mean, it's just not right when your husband has a smaller waist than you do. There's something wrong with that. <laughs> now, I have a smaller waist up here. I think I'm 33 up here. But down here, I'm like 37, which is ugh, horrible. But anyway, he's buying 34 jeans again. Mm. You know, it's pretty sad if I pulled his jeans on, I wouldn't even be able to get them buttoned. 
So that's depressing, isn't it? Oh no, my blood pressure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I think that's all I know for now. I'm going to be back with another video right away because I'm going to go over there to the SureFit Designs Pants Contest. It's not really a contest by what your pants look like. It's just a contest because there's three winners in the United States and one winner in the UK and one winner in Australia and one winner in South Africa. And so far, there's not even anybody in those other countries except for the UK. So really easy, get a pair of pants posted tonight or tomorrow and you can win the one and only prize in those other countries, okay? So, after a while, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna pull up all the pants and I'm gonna show you guys all the pictures of the pants that have been posted so far because tomorrow's the last day and we're going to um, choose a winner. I guess we need to let you guys post pictures all day tomorrow too, so maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to do it. Should I? Yeah. I think I'll wait till tomorrow after church and then I'll show you all the pants and then tomorrow um, probably first thing Monday morning when we wake up I don't know whose time it's gonna be in what country just get your pants posted you know tomorrow before midnight our time <laughs> get your pants posted and then when I wake up Monday morning and I have my sufficient amount of coffee <laughs> and I get with Glenda we will choose a winner We'll choose three winners here and one winner in each of the other countries, and we will announce on Monday who won what. Okay? I'll be back. Bye for now.